Hello! It's my face story here, guys. Um, today I am showing you how I do a full coverage, acne scar coverage, I guess, tutorial on my face. So, it's actually looking not so bad. We do have a bump right here. I am about to start that time of the month, you know what I mean? So, that's why that's going on. Last time I did like a full acne scar coverage tutorial using powder foundation and today, oh your favorite girl, hey girl, thank you so much. Today I'm going to use a liquid foundation instead so I can show you that look too. And when I use liquid, um, I started off by prepping my face with this already. It is the vitamin C cream from Vanish. Unfortunately, they do not make it anymore, but I'm gonna use it until I run out, so sorry. Um, but yeah, that's what I prep my face with. And now I'm going to prime it with the Smashbox Primer Water. Ooh. And this stuff is awesome. Um, it's really lightweight. And you just, just like that. Ooh. Um, yeah, and this little bottle lasts me a really long time. And I think it was only like 16 bucks. I don't know, I feel like that's not bad. All primers are kind of like, to something. I know the bigger bottle of this though is like $32 and I did not get the big bottle because I'm not gonna spend $32 on a water spritzer. No way, Jose. So after I let that dry for a second, um, the only liquid foundation that I use are the L'Oreal Pro Matte and the Pro Glow and they're really, really, really awesome. They're super buildable. This one's definitely less coverage. The Pro Glow is less coverage. Um, and the Pro Matte is definitely more coverage, but I actually like to mix them together and it gives you um, Kind of just like a normal foundation, but with like a little bit of a glow, but it still gets matte. I don't know. You kind of get all of it So this is the Pro Glow in the shade 201 and this is the lightest shade they make in the Pro Glow and this is the Pro Matte in the shade 102. And this is the second lightest shade that they make. And I'm just gonna use a beauty blender, or a knockoff beauty blender. I think this is just like the Real Techniques ones. Um, I'm just gonna like mix it together a little bit. And then I'm just gonna tap it on my face. And this is definitely like the powder tutorial I did has a lot of coverage, but I think this is definitely like way more coverage. So if you're looking for a fuller coverage, this would be the way to go. It's good, girl. Um, and I've tried like, I don't know. I've tried like the Born This Way foundation and I've tried um, the Smashbox foundation, and I've tried the Laura Geller foundation. I've tried a couple different ones, and I honestly feel like this one is the best like price and coverage, and it does not break me out, which is crazy, because it's super cheap. It's like 10 bucks a bottle. But you know what? Sometimes I feel like more expensive doesn't necessarily mean that it's better. So, whatever works, girl. And I'm just gonna do a little bit more. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more of the matte one. Kind of like on my cheek. Sorry, I'm like trying to look into this while I do it and I feel like this is very hard, but yeah. So I feel like that looks pretty good, right? Maybe like bring it down your neck a little bit, girl. So that it blends in. Um, okay, so Tracy says, my, hyper my hyperpigmentation is very, very, very stubborn aside from the vanish pen and derma roller. How can I get rid of those? Um, I would try using 
like natural rosehip oil I think works very well on hyperpigmentation um, if you just like use it on whichever spots overnight and it's pretty cheap too laser treatments yeah I mean that works too but I use I had really bad hyperpigmentation um, I was on Accutane like a year ago a long time ago and I would use that when I was on Accutane it takes a while to see progress but if you use it every single night like it does help use this this is the shape tape from Tarte and this is the best concealer like it's it's I don't know it's the best it's the best it's good and I'm just doing this little thingy and then gonna cover up that guy and that's it And after I let it dry a little bit, I just blend that in. And so this will kind of like brighten up underneath your eyes. And then if you bring it back here, it'll kind of like lift your eye up. You can put it on your eyelid too, kind of to act as a primer for your eyeshadow. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I'm not a makeup artist. So if you're watching this thinking she's doing everything wrong, I probably am. This is just how I do it. Forewarning, <laughs> not a makeup artist. I do not claim to be a makeup artist. This is just how I do. This is just how I do you, boo. And then I'm gonna put a little bit like right here. Okay, now I am going to set it with this pressed powder from Dermablend. If you have a loose powder that works better, I just don't have one right now, and I don't, I'm not in the market to be buying anything, if you know what I mean. And yeah, whenever I use powders for whatever reason, I always go like this and like poof out my cheeks. Because I feel like it helps get more coverage. I don't know, maybe not. Makes sense to me, y'all. All right. So I feel like that's enough of that. Looking good, girl. Looking good. Okay. Now I'm going to use this. Nar. Ooh, look. Ooh, it's Inception. You see that? Okay, I'm using this NARS blush. It is the orgasm blush. Um, this, I don't know. This is just the blush I like. I use this one or I use the butter blush, which is a much cheaper option. And it's kind of like a mauve -y color. So this one's gonna be like a little bit darker. And this one is kind of just like a more summery. Actually, sometimes I use both. I might just use both. I love blush. Mo blush, mo problems. And I have a little bit on my nose too, cause it makes you look like you got a little bit of sun. Anyways, I'm using the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula, and this is the light medium, light bronzer. And I'm just putting it right in this area, and then I'm bringing it up a little bit. Um, I'm not gonna do my forehead though, because I have bangs, and nobody's gonna see my forehead, so. Just gotta save that product, save that money. And one thing I would say is like, even if you have acne scars, like don't be afraid to experiment with like wearing blush and wearing bronzer. Cause I know a lot of people have told me like they feel like it brings it out more, they feel like it looks worse, but honestly, it don't, it looks good. 
It's only gonna look bad if you think it looks bad, so. Don't be afraid to like try new things. So that is it with the butter bronzer. Um, okay. Oh yeah, so she's tra uh, Tracy Amber also said to use rosehip oil. And that banish has, pump oh yeah, duh, the pumpkin enzyme mask is really good at reducing red marks and at shrinking blemishes. And while I'm doing the rest of my makeup, I'm going to put on just Carmex so that my lips are like ready to go when I want to put on my... What? And now I'm putting on, this is Essence Make Me Brow. So this is the only thing I use for my brows. This is $2.99, um, very cheap. It's like a, a knockoff of, what is it? Benefits Give Me Brow, I think is what it's called. Um, it does the same exact thing, but $2.99, so. And you just do like short little strokes with it. Yeah, you can see a difference. This one's definitely like more defined. Yeah, girl. So it makes it a little bit more defined and gives it like a little bit more color and fullness. Ooh, but sometimes that's the only downside. Sometimes it spits out a lot of product and then you got a little blotch. But you know what? You just you just rub that blotch in and you're good to go. So for the rest of this tutorial, I'm almost done with like my face, like my skin makeup. For the rest of this tutorial, I will just be doing um, my eyeballs. So if all you wanted to see was skin, that was it. That was all that I do. Whoa! Spiky. There we go. Um, and now, almost forgot. I'm going to take my highlighter. This is from ColourPop. This is in the color Flexitarian. And this is just a crown brush. I don't know where this came from, but it's mine now. And I'm just putting it up here. And this is like, you've got pale to like medium pale skin, just anything that's like pale. This is like the best, like look at that. This highlighter is so, oh, oh. it's so good. Oh. I think the ugliest faces, I'm not, not even kidding, girl. Acne and acne scars too. I've used many products, but useless. But do you recommend my skin is oily? Um, I recommend Banish Acne Scars. Duh. Their starter kit is awesome, and the pumpkin enzyme mask would help definitely. And the uh, charcoal mask would help with your oiliness. But the pumpkin enzyme mask would ha help with any hyperpigmentation. The derma roller would help with your scars, and yeah, the charcoal mask would help with oiliness. So, wham, bam, slam. Now I'm just using, this is like my favorite palette. I think I used this last time. This is the Peanut Butter Honey Palette. It was a limited edition palette from Too Faced. It smells like peanut butter. Oh, here we go. And I'm going to use this brush from It Cosmetics. It's the 216 
all over shadow brush. And I'm gonna use this color, Be Sweet. And I'm gonna go right here. brush, which is another It Cosmetics brush. This is the 117, and I'm going to go in with Feeling Nutty right there. And I'm just kind of just going like in the crease right here, just making like a windshield wiper motion. Uh, but the banish kit is so expensive. Is there any alternatives? Um, not really, to be honest. I mean, you could do lasering, but lasering is more expensive. If you think about it, like the kit does last you a while, like at least two months. So divide the cost by two months. Um, anything else, like I know lasering ranges from like 2,000 to 4,000 depending on how severe you're scarring and then you might need multiple sessions as well um, So honestly banish is a much cheaper option compared to other alternatives And if you're only worried about your scarring you could definitely opt to just get the dermal roller And I know professional microneedling is about um, it ranges, but like $300 to $800 per session. And the only thing that's really going to work on acne scarring is going to be something that is like forcing your collagen to regrow and fill in. Now I'm just going to use this same color, this one, with a smaller shader brush and this is number 220 from It Cosmetics. These are like, I only use these three brushes basically. Sorry, I'm like getting really far away from you guys. <laughs> I'm sitting on my feet so they like keep falling asleep and I'm trying to wake them up. from this palette, that's all I'm going to use from there. Now I'm going to use this color from ColourPop called Game Face. And it's kind of like this orange coppery shadow. That's pretty much the same color, dang. Pops eyeshadows, you know, you have to use your finger um, because they won't come off with like a regular brush for whatever reason. They're super special like that. Do I recommend to use the derma roller more than once a week? No. Um, I would only use it once every two weeks. Sorry, I'm covering my mouth. Once every two weeks. Um, you actually don't need to use it any more than that. Once every two weeks is giving your skin time to heal itself and to repair. Um, you would think that doing it more often would be beneficial, but it's actually gonna harm you more than help you. Um, so you do wanna give your skin the downtime to fully repair in between. going back in with this one. I changed my mind, this top one. And I'm going to make this a little bit darker just in the corner. Girl. And I'm going to... Mm, 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 do 
Do I want to do glitter or no glitter? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not glitter today. Okay. I'm going to use this mascara from Urban Decay called Perversion. It looks like this. And it's got this big old fluffy wand. But someone last time told me to let it dry and then you can flake it off with a q-tip So I'm gonna try that this time because last time I tried to get it off and it literally just like smeared So oh, Let's hear some comments My hair color is amazing. Well, thank you very much. Nice lady or man lady What's the best foundation for oily and acne prone skin? I like this one it's the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Pro. I think it's the best one for oily and acne prone skin. It doesn't make me break out and it's super matte. It has some type of formula in it where it actually wicks away your oil throughout the day. So it keeps your face looking fresh. Did my diet really affect my skin? Um, yeah. I mean, what do you mean? <laughs> Since I started eating like really healthy and cut out all dairy and caffeine, like I haven't gotten as big as bumps as I used to. Like this is like the biggest bump I get is like a little dot. So yeah, I definitely think that it has. Um, I've also been eating like gut and hormone balancing foods. As you know, um, acne in this part of your face means that your hormones are off balance somehow, or like stressed or gut, whatever. This is like all hormones. And so I figured I always stay clear up here. It's always down here. Why not try changing my diet and see, you know? Speaking of which, I have been eating so coconut oil has like hormone balancing, like fatty acids in it that your body absorbs. And so I've been putting like a tablespoon in my coffee, or not my coffee, sorry, my tea every day. Caffeine free tea. And I do think it has been helping. And if you don't like that, avocados are really good. <laughs> for balancing your hormones. So I made myself a little avocado snack and I will be eating this right now. Yeah, I used to believe that diet didn't affect my skin. I'm just eating, so whatever. I used to believe diet didn't affect my skin, but I kind of feel a lot different now since I started eating healthier. And not just like eating healthier, but seeking out the foods that I know my body needs, like seeking out foods that are good for your gut and that help your hormones and things like that. So yeah, eat some avocado and it'll balance your hormones. I use the Pro Glow. Oh hey Ashley, I'm gonna try the matte. My skin gets so shiny. Cutting out dairy helped me. I wish I would've done that. Yeah, I wish that I would have done that too. I kind of just like was being stubborn and I didn't want to listen to people because I don't know, it's your diet and it's like what you've been eating your whole life. So it's like, I know better than you. Kind of, not, not like I know better than you, but kind of like that mentality where I'm not going to change what I eat just because you say it works. You know what I mean? So I kind of got to the point where I was like, I don't want to go back on Accutane and I'm still getting like, I was getting like cysts. So I cut out dairy and I stopped getting like the big sis. So now I'm gonna let my bangs down, I guess. Oh, there we go. I'm just gonna 
gonna wipe off this very, this is very hygienic. I'm just using every single finger on this hand. Um, I'm going to use the NYX Liquid Suede. I, I'm like shutting like crazy. NYX Liquid Suede in the color Sandstorm. And it's kind of just like this nude brown 90s color. Feel the pressure of you guys watching me like I'm like don't mess up and that is that so that's I might have put too much highlighter on because it's deflecting milk was mostly what caused large cysts so annoying yeah I actually don't even eat like drink milk but I notice like cuz I am a big mac and cheese lover like I eat mac and cheese for every meal. I love mac and cheese. And um, I kept getting them like every time I was eating dairy, so. I started using the Banish Starter Kit for two weeks now. Is it normal that it breaks me out more than usual? It could be. It is like all natural and organic, so I know when I started using it, I was breaking out a little bit too at first, especially with a charcoal mask. Um, when you're switching to like more natural products, you can experience like a purging at first, and then it should clear up. This lipstick, girl, lasts all day. Um, and I actually really like the NYX Liquid Suede better than the lip lingeries, because the lip lingeries, they dry down and they get like really flaky and just like chip off, you know what I'm talking about? And you can see all your lip lines. And the Liquid Suede kind of like blurs it. And I wouldn't say it dries down matte, but it dries down like matte enough. So it's like a comfortable matte. It lasts all day. All day. That's just some more blush because it was sitting there. And this is the final look. Here we go. Voila. Ha cha cha. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you learn some good stuff. If not, maybe it was just a waste of your time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So do you guys have, oh wait. Did you get that blush brush in your Ipsy? I did. I think, so my husband's mom gave it to me and I think that she got it in hers. <laughs> and so she just gave it to me. What is it, a Luxie brush? Yeah, it's a Luxie 514. So yeah, she would never buy any makeup stuff, so she probably got this. Shout out to Michelle. What sunblock do I use? I use the Neutrogena Clear Face, is what I've been using right now. If you can afford it though, the Kula, it's C-O-O-L-A. Um, they have a BB Skin Tint sunblock, and it's matte, and it's really nice if you have oily skin. And it makes your skin look good, and it's sunblock, so. I, don't know, I think it's like 30 bucks. It's kind of expensive. So I'm just using the Neutrogena one. So yeah, I guess this is my favorite full coverage acne scar makeup coverage look, if that is what you call it. Um, I feel like acne scars can only be covered like so much because it is like a textural thing, you know? Unless you want to literally straight up like put putty on your face, which you don't, it'd be heavy and uncomfortable. Just embrace it, girl, and love yourself for who you are. Well, that concludes my live. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this, and I enjoyed talking to you guys and answering your questions, and it's been real. So, peace out, home doll. She just wants to be beautiful. She goes unnoticed. She knows no limits. She could